All right, so we're gonna look into integer speak, yeah? Be quiet, Mama. Okay. Right. So what did you write? Easy. <laughs> oh, easy. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, it, it will be easy too. So the reason behind is it's you know you did it with this before, and also it makes much easier too. It's not that difficult, but it's good to know. Okay. All right. So really quickly so if you look at the integers so we have the positive numbers positive numbers and the negative numbers and the zero which is are called the integers okay they're all called the integers so on the number line if you look at it zero and the positive numbers here and here is negative numbers and these are all called the integers so the negatives are called negative integers positives are called positive integers and zero is also called like a, it's part of that okay now let's see when you solve the integers you can use number line to solve the problems okay and let's do a number line Okay, so let's do a uh, add three plus negative nine. So we can use the number line. Okay, so let's use the number line for this. By using this number line, so first of all, I'm going to look at it past two three. So from this number line, I can say I can use this one so starting from here. Pass to three means I'm going to go to the right side. So I'm going to go one, two, three to the positive. And then I have the negative nine. So the negative means let's go to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I end up with negative six. So basically we can write it three plus negative nine. It's basically a negative six. Okay, make sense? So that's a basic a number line. How you can use the number line to solve the problems, but if you already know it, then you don't need to use number line. Okay. So that's a basic idea to use the number line. But if you know already three plus of negative nine, you know that that is positive times negative is negative. Or that's going to be negative six. Okay, you can do that. Okay, make sense? Okay, go ahead and then practice some questions. If you want to use a number line, I can put you the number line for you. Can I put some number line? Oh, sure. Never mind, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll put one more. Okay, so there you go. Okay, go ahead and try. Oh, oops. That's good. I like that. So that whenever you have the negative 11, you from the zero, you go to the left hand side and then you go past to six and then you end up with the negative five. Good job. Okay. Like that. That's good. So you start it from the zero. Negative one means you go one unit. Uh, this left and then negative eight to the left so all together you end up with the negative nine okay. so the other thing is like uh, when you do some of the questions uh, for example uh, it's two minus of negative three okay so one way you can say this is negative times negative it becomes a positive three and i can give you a little technique or tip 
you can use this negative negative positive so if i see negative times negative that's positive and then negative times positive that's negative positive times negative that's negative okay you can use that technique also make sense yeah okay all right so the next question is evaluate the expression so what does that mean is basically so once we have the x is negative 22 and then y is negative 12 so whatever you have you replace it with that number good job i see that really good now you can just do it with you can use a number line if you thought number line doesn't matter you can just solve them just add it so you see as negative 22 and then negative 9 so that means is both both is like both of them are negative so you're gonna get what Negative. Sorry. Uh, negative 22 plus negative 9. Yeah. Oh, so you add it. Yeah, add it. And that would be 31. Yeah, okay. So negative 31, basically. Because if you look at it, it in terms of the money, if you see, negative 22 means you borrowed $22, and then you still need more money to buy some items, so you need, you need to borrow nine more dollars but now you owe $31 together. Make sense? So that's one way you can put them on the, in terms of the money, it makes more sense uh, of the negative numbers, okay? Let's go try this num letter P. Okay, that's good. Right, since you understand these questions, let's go and practice a couple of questions. So next question, let's practice a couple of questions. Let me copy the number line. There you go, so use the number line. Okay. Like that, started from the zero, went to negative nine, that's good. And then you have positive 11, so you can go back to that way. That's positive two, that's good. I like that, nice. Since you don't have enough space, probably you can get, I like that, you draw your own number line, that looks good. Because number line is never, never stops, okay? Line means never stops. So that's the reason we put the arrows at the end. So that means they, they go forever. Okay. Like that, you put that one there, looks good. And get it 15, beautiful. That's right, good job. Okay, since you understand this one already, so let's go ahead and find the error analysis. We're going to do the error analysis. So I want you to read the question. Okay. Once it comes out there. Okay, go ahead and read the question for me. Error analysis. Describe and correct the error in using a number line to find the sum of negative 2 and 5. Okay, so let's find out the negative 2 and 5, but this number line is given to you. You tell me or describe it, the correct error in the using the number line. So what's the mistake is happening there? Okay. That's all right. You would, uh, oh, uh, okay. So first he'd go to negative two, and then from negative two, he'd go five back. Okay, so is it correct? Oh. Why it is wrong? 
because he he he, mm -hmm. he just he, he technically he just left from zero. He yes. wanted to do the wait one sec. I thought I saw something mm -hmm. So when you start this one for the negative two, it looks like you started from negative two. That looks good. But past to five, you need to go to the... Yeah, he, well, he was supposed to go back. Right. So he should go towards the right. Instead of the right, he went left. So that's the reason he ended up with the wrong answer. Okay? Make sense? That's good. All right. This time, let's do a little bit critical thinking question. Go ahead and yeah. make a question for me. Critical thinking. Use a single arrow on the number line to represent the sum of negative 4 and plus negative 10. What does the length of the arrow indicate? What does the direction of the arrow indicate? Hmm. Okay, think about it and, you know. There you go. The number line is there. Okay. Let's go ahead. I like that you extended it out. That's good. What is it? Repeat again. Negative 14. Negative 14. That's right. So it's a one single line. So which direction do you think the arrow is indicating? Negative. That's right. So it's, it's going to the left direction or it's also negative direction. That's good. Very good. Okay. Right. Yeah. This time, let's look at a real life example using Negative numbers where we use it integers. Okay, go ahead and read the question for me. Overdraft. Your checking in account shows an overdraft or a negative balance. Your present balance is negative twenty five negative twenty five dollars. Your deposit is one hundred dollars. Then write a check for twelve dollars. What's your new balance? Hmm. So your present balance is negative twenty five dollars. So that means your negative balance. So you have to pay twenty five dollars. Right, extra? that's right. No, you're not extra, but whatever you owe to the bank, you have to pay to that bank first. So when you deposit to the hundred dollars, what they're gonna do is they take that twenty five dollars first. Okay. So uh, seventy five dollars off your hundred dollars. That's right. And then you, and then you wrote a check. So if you look at it when you come to the bank, so the negative twenty five. That's your at the beginning balance, right? And then we have added a hundred dollars. Deposit means plus. Deposit is plus. Eighty nine. Okay. And then you write a check. Check means are you going to add or subtract? What you're going to do? You're going to uh, you're going to subtract. That's you're right. going to give uh, money to them. Mm -hmm. That's it. So if you understand this concept, it's just pretty easy. So. Eighty nine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. That's good. Positive or negative? Uh, uh, oops. Uh, positive? No, wait, wait. Yeah, positive. So how do you get the 89, though? Just a quick question. You did it? Oh, I added it. Oh, no, oops. Just track. Oops. Mm -hmm. Because when you pay the bank, you have only, what, $75. But out of $75, again, you're, you're giving out the $12 off. Or the $12 check you wrote it already. So you're left with... Uh, $63. There you go. That is correct. So $63. Good work. All right. So let's look at another critical thinking question. I'm going to read the question for you because you did that last time. So the critical thinking. Using the given information and the fact that X and Y are integers, tell whether the sum of X plus Y is even or odd. Explain your reasoning. That is important. You explain your reasoning. Okay. Now, 54, X and Y are even numbers. So, now tell me if you add or X plus Y, is it going to be even or odd? X plus Y. Uh, mm -hmm. Could be any number. X and Y could be any numbers, but even numbers. It could be even numbers? Yeah. There are even numbers. X and Y are even numbers. Now, your turn to tell when you add X plus Y, is it going to give you a odd number or even number? 
Uh, Eden? Okay. How do you get that? Explain your reasoning. So, um, I uh, added six with eight, I think. I added six with seven. Mm -hmm. Is that even? They could be any. Yeah, six plus four, it's ten. That's even. So, let's say if I take another even number, two plus four, that's six. That is also even. Okay. Ten plus two, that is also even. Yes. So, that means you can write it even yeah. plus even you always end up with the even okay that's a rule all right try the next one no, i don't like explaining each question okay. odd explain it so um so two ways. Number one, like one plus uh, two okay. plus three. That's odd. But uh, and the other way is I think mm -hmm. it's uh, because the positives gave uh, a positive product. It should probably be the same way. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the uh, one thing in the question it says both x and y are odd numbers, right? But the one is odd number. But not oh, two. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, let's try it again. Um, so it's you mean even number? Even, even. <laughs> yes. So any odd number, let's say three plus five, gives you an eight. That's even number. So you can write a rule: odd number plus an odd number, you end up with an even number. Okay. Seven plus two is nine, but that's not an odd number. <laughs> All right. So when it is one even, one odd number, so you always get a odd number. Okay. That's the other rule for that too. Okay. This time, let's go check it. The test question, like standardized test. You may see these type of questions, SATs, or even the. Azimary, those type of class tests. Let's go now look at this. Yes. Uh, what's SAT again? Oh, SAT is a scholastic aptitude test. But that one is like when you go to high school in the 10th oh. grade, that's where you take. Okay. Yeah. Do you think it'll come on a comp or something? It's kind of like comps, yes. It's the comps is for the, your basic schools, but the SAT is for the colleges. Got it. Good so, question. Standardized test practice. Yeah. Multiple, standardized test practice. Multiple choice. What is the value of the expression x plus y to the absolute value when x equals negative 3 and y equals 12? Hmm. Um, That's good. You can use the number line. Yes. Oh, oops. Sorry. I, 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 <laughs> right. I thought it was right again. And then... All right. Can you explain it to me? So um, I went on the number line and mm -hmm. I um, I drew the number line. Then I took the uh, ticks. Right. Um, took the, uh, I went uh, three forward. I mean, uh, negative three forward. Right. Um, then I went positive twelve degrees. And also in this question, you have absolute of y, but y is already positive, so it doesn't make any difference. So it's basically negative three plus twelve, which is positive nine. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good.